my name is C and today I am reviewing Lisa Scottaline's book Dirty Blonde. Lisa Scottaline Dirty Blonde. Okay. Um, this book is about a woman who is appointed to be a federal judge and within the first uh, few weeks, well first of all it says she, re um, bleh. it says but Kate leads a dark double life that she hides from everyone, even her best friend. I read that description before I read the book. To me, a dark double life is something like, oh, I don't know, running an underground crime ring or dealing heroin or something dark and double. Not what this book describes as dark and double. I kept waiting to come across her dark double life before I realized what they consider dark and double, which I'm trying not to give too much away, but I guess you discover it very early on. She has an active sex life. I don't consider that that big of a dark double secret. So anyways, um, within her first week or so on the bench, in lawyer talk, in judge talk, on the bench, um, she has several things uh, happen and um, her dark double life comes out as well as um, she is stalked and there's a murder and there's lots of excitement. So all in all this book read very similar to a Mary Higgins Clark book. Um, I read it right after reading Jeffrey Deaver, The Broken Window and the writing styles could not be more different. This is light even though it's dealing with murder and dark secrets and other things. Um, it's an easy read you don't need to put any thought whatsoever in reading it. Um, certainly not going to win any great awards, but it is interesting. It kept my interest. It's not long, and it's fun. I wouldn't run out to your local bookstore and buy it immediately, but if um, if someone passes it to you, it was light and fun's the wrong word, but it was okay. I give it a B. Um, maybe like B plus, but nothing special, but nothing horrible. Um, that's my review. Stay tuned for T's review and see what she thinks. Thanks. Bye. Hi, I'm T and um, today we're reviewing Dirty Blonde by Lisa Scudeline. Um, my sister already told you what it was about, so I'm having a hard time not doing the same. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple main themes that I saw in the book. Um, the first one is that Kate, the main character who was a judge, um, really had a hard time or continually fought the fact that she was a young female judge, I think late 30s, um, in a man's world. And um, fighting that nonstop, being the new one, but also being a female. Um, and of course, because she's a female, there was a storyline where they're going to do a TV show on her, which I don't think would have happened if she was an old gentleman uh, judge. Um, the other theme that was there was her sex with strangers. Um, following that same train of thought, if she was a man having random sex with lots of women, I think she would be called more of a stud. But in this book, she was clearly a disgusting slut. And I was a little surprised being a female off author that she did portray her as really dirty, hence the title. Um, so you, she wasn't a character you necessarily liked. The only thing I did like about her was her best friend, their relationship. Her best friend has an autistic child and I think the author handled that with a lot of grace. Um, so you like that friendship. But other than that, I'm not crazy about the um, woman the main character, Kate. She just doesn't seem like somebody I'd root for. Um, I thought the storyline was kind of weak. Um, the end, she, and I'm going to give stuff away. So, okay, never mind on that. Um, there was a part of the end that I thought was a little far fetched. I'll leave it at that. So, the, I would give this a C rating. Uh, the writing was C spectacular. Again, I think the main reason I'm giving it a C is that I really don't care about Kate and I didn't, the author didn't want you to. So for me, it's a C. So hope you guys having a great day. Thank you.